Hey everyone! This is the map read aloud video for Rise Up Assignment 10 about um, Brooklyn neighborhoods um, today. So basically your instructions for this assignment are to analyze the maps and the data that is included with some of these maps. Um, and to use this to answer the questions for each map about redlining in the 1940s and Brooklyn today. So your answers should be about one to two full sentences. They should be accurate based on what you see in the maps. Um, and I've also included on each page steps to reading a map to help you out with these specific maps. All right. So, um, let's start with the first map. Okay. And what I want to do first is just look at the questions we're going to answer. We're going to answer which neighborhoods did the government or banks redline in the 1940s? They're marked in red, um, to deny home loans to people. Okay. And we're also looking for which neighborhoods did the government or banks not redline in the 1940s, marked in green or yellow or blue, to allow home loans for people. Okay, so we're looking for the neighborhoods that were redlined and the ones that weren't. So quips, quick steps to reading a map, right, over here. The first thing you should do is read the title. Now, what is this map about, right? And so the title we see here is a map of redlining in Brooklyn in the 1940s. All right, so it's what neighborhoods were redlined in the 1940s. So how do we know which is which? Well, step two is we check the key. What are the colors or symbols on the map mean and how can we use that to answer our question? Well, our question is what, what neighborhoods were redlined and what weren't, so let's look at the key. It says that the red zones, the ones colored in red, are the neighborhoods that the government considered dangerous, right, because minorities live there, and that um, people in these homes and these neighborhoods were not given home loans. So these were the neighborhoods that were redlined, okay? Um, and the yellow, blue, or green marked areas, all right, are neighborhoods that were considered safe, usually with mostly white people, and people in these neighborhoods were given home loans. So they were not redlined, okay? All right, so to answer question one, um, you can follow these steps looking for the red zones, right? You can also look for the labels. Um, what do they tell you about what's on the map and how can they help you answer the question? Well, here the labels are used to label the neighborhoods, right? This area here is Bushwick, this one up here is Williamsburg, Bed-Stuy, this one in the circle there is Brooklyn Heights, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, so if I were you, like for example, if I want to know which neighborhoods were redlined or marked in red, well, look at that. Bed-Stuy, right, if I use the key and the label bed is marked in red. That means bed is one of the neighborhoods that was redlined, right? There's an example to help you out with the first one. Okay, let's go to map two. All right, this is um, the map of Brooklyn in 2018, so closer to, to today. And this map, I'm going to look at the title. It's called Brooklyn Race Map, okay, in 2018. So it's telling me about different races of people that live in different Brooklyn neighborhoods, all right? Um, and also on this map and the next one, there's some extra data at the bottom to help you out that kind of gives you the actual breakdown of what percentage of each race lives in each of the neighborhoods labeled on the map, okay? So for example, in Bed-Stuy, right, um, which is marked up here, with that label and has the color mostly blue in it, right? Well, blue means that um, that it's mostly black people who live there. And if we want to get more detailed, right, we can look down here and say that in Bed-Stuy, it's actually about 83% black, okay? And 11% Hispanic and so on and so forth, okay? So using that info, you're answering the questions, which neighborhoods have a high white population, 80% or more whites? Okay, so you can use the data on the side here to help you, right? Or you can look for neighborhoods that are labeled that are particularly green, because green represents white people on the map, okay? Um, so for example, hmm, Brooklyn Heights looks pretty green, and if I go down here, I look at the information for Brooklyn Heights, um, yep, yeah, it says about 82% are white, right? So that could be one of the answers um, for question one. It also says, were those neighborhoods redlined in the past? See map one. So if I said Brooklyn Heights is one of the white neighborhoods, right, I'm going to look up here and see, was Brooklyn Heights redlined in the past? Well, on this map, it was labeled blue. So no, it was not. Today, it's mostly white. It was not redlined in the past, right? Um, yeah, 